Okay, I've got uh, a number of uh, guns I'm going to be selling because I'm actually moving house and I probably need to be making some space. Now, I've got two BSA Merlin air rifles. I've uh, tried putting these up before. Uh, they're quite nice condition, however, this one has got the transport um, or transporter missing. It's a BSA Merlin 22 caliber from the 1960s. It's a very collectible rifle. Uh, as I say, there's that one. You can buy the parts of these online quite easy. And I've got another one which was mine. I've had this since I was uh, about eight years old. This one is still in its box. Uh, let's see. I quickly, well, I'll unwrap this in a little while and show you it inside. Now, uh, I've also got this um, 9mm deactivated Uzi. It's new specification, which means that the bolt doesn't move about. Also, the trigger actually doesn't move. But uh, these are now selling for well um, around 500 quid uh, deactivated. Now it's a very heavy chunk of steel. It's the FN Fabrique Nationale uh, version of it, but it actually has an Israeli wood stock on it. So the wood stock is true Israeli, and uh, the rest of the gun is the FN version. Uh, nine millimeter deactivated. You can possibly take the top catch off. I'll do that when I go downstairs. I've got um, deactivation certificates for it. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Belgium. Um, yeah, Uzi. Um, then I've also got. Let's see, what is it now? Um, I've got... Ah, yeah, there we go. Um, not the sword. I've got this... Um, um, 45 caliber machine gun. This is old specification. It's, uh, what is it? It's called a Spitfire. It's American made has a very long 4.5 caliber barrel and um, as I say it's an old specification uh, gun it has what appears to be a M1A1 Thompson stock on the back you can see it's an M1A1 there's the two screw holes solid wood Thompson stock. It's got, um, where the sling swivel it's just got a blanking plate, it's got a plastic butt plate on it. Now it takes, it might be, it's a mongrel this, it's halfway between a grease gun and a Thompson. It, it's got uh, a Thompson stock on it, it's got the look of a Thompson submachine gun, but with a very long barrel but it's got a grease gun mechanism in it. See, if I cock this back, there's the um, the grease gun mechanism. See how it's got two uh, bars which run all the way through the bolt. They form the mechanism of the grease gun. Now, it's, a lot of people are going to like this. Um, to take the barrel out the front, it's got two uh, Allen screws. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You. Anyway, I'm not going to go into this too much, but it's very, um, it's very interesting, isn't it? Uh, let's see. On the side, we've got a 45 caliber semi-auto Spitfire Manufacturing Company um, where's that now something Arizona 
Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. Now, the magazine on this is a uh, 4.5 caliber um, grease gun mag. If I just pop that out. Uh, yeah, that's a 4.5 caliber uh, grease gun magazine. Anyway, I should pop that back in there. I will put the prices I'm wanting for this on pop-ups on the video because I haven't decided exactly what sort of prices but they're going for uh, decent money. As I say, this is old specification so it's worth quite a bit of money now, uh, potentially. Uh, even though it doesn't look beautiful um, to some people it'd be quite interesting. Now, what else? Uh, yeah, um, I've got an airsoft I'm wanting to sell. This, uh, uh, I think from memory, originally belonged to the guy who runs RSOV in Hong Kong. Um, it used to be his own gun now. Uh, AK, AK, where are you? But this will be it here. Um, it's a metal airsoft AK-47. Uh, it's got wood stock parts on it. Uh, metal magazine, uh, high cap standard, high cap mag. Uh, metal top cover on it here. Um, the receiver is metal. It's it's going to be a form of pot metal. It's not steel. Um, but it's not a bad gun. Uh, it's got uh, some plastic parts somewhere or other. Um, no, which I think the breech block there is possibly still plastic although it does look the part yeah so it's not, that's not bad uh, what else have I got for sale I think I've got a, a Keimer AK-47 think about this um, which will be a plastic one. That's that one there. Um, hang on. This is actually not a Kymer, it's an army. One of those army AKs. Um, but it's uh, it's not a bad AK. And I'm probably going to put these up on Gunstar. I've just created an account on there. Um, probably best if only people in the UK ask if they can buy these because sending stuff internationally these days is a pain in the arse. Um, some experience I've had of it, uh, things go missing, uh, don't get to um, the destinations and then people start asking for their money back and it's just a big hassle. Yeah, so um, let's uh, get some closer details on some of these then. Okay, here are the BSA Merlins. I want to sell these together as a, a you know a combined deal. I'll be putting the price up and details later on. Now, this this is my original one which I've had since I was eight years old. And as I tend to look after guns, this still has its original box that it, uh, that it came in. And uh, we get this out of here. It's still got the original grease proof uh, Cortex uh, wrapping paper. 
There we are. Uh, I remember I uh, shot a rabbit with this when I was about 10 years old. When I was out hunting with my dad. My dad bought the, this for me. Uh, lovely little 2 2 rifle. You can pick this up practically with one finger. For those uh, that are not familiar with this particular rifle, it's an underlever. You cock it very much like a BSA Air Sporter or something, but this is probably predating the Air Sporter by uh, a few good years. And uh, I can do this with one hand, I think. We cock that like that. And this little transporter pops up there. And it's 2 2 caliber. You close that up again, like so. You pop your pellet in there and you push that down. And uh, I don't normally dry fire my rifles, but uh, I'm going to do it. Uh, there is my grease proof paper, so we should see that move. Yep. So there's your air. It's definitely a functioning gun. Um, I'm going to do the same for this one where the transporter is missing. Uh, but we're not going to get quite as much air blowing through the front because the transporter is not there. Um, it's not bad condition. I bought this with uh, uh, as a project for restoration and I haven't touched it. Um, yeah, so let's give this one a go. See, there's the mechanism underneath. You can buy the parts for these still. People are making them. Now, what I'm going to do, it's not very easy. Uh, no, I can't put my finger over the transporter to reduce the air. But we're just going to see if it moves it. Yes, it still does, and that's with the uh, air coming also out at the transporter hole. So, they're two nice rifles. Not bad at all. Good bargain. Okay, here's the 9mm Uzi. Um, now it is, as I said before, it's a Belgium made Uzi, the AX certificate. Now what I've done is I've popped the top cover on here and we can now take a look inside. Top cover is perfectly normal, nothing being monkeyed around with that. Got the um, serial number on the side of it here which matches with the serial number on the side of the receiver now here is the inside of your receiver you can see the 9mm barrel has had to chop down it and uh, plugged and welded up and the whole bolt has actually been removed from this and a uh, dummy side plate has been welded inside there as I say, new specification, uh, so uh, yeah, but it is the genuine article, it's an Uzi, um, so you pop the top cover back on, sort of like so, and close the back, and there you go, nothing wrong with that, lovely little gun. Uh, there's our Spitfire again, I've already done some good video footage of the old Spitfire. I believe these were, uh, well I was told when I was purchasing this, God knows some, some considerable years ago, that these were um, sometimes used by some of the American police forces. Well, I know they used to use Thompsons at one day, so, uh, once upon a time, uh, so uh, anyway, here we go. See? Mechanism flies forward. Very grease gun-like. 
see that's where you cock it you put your fingers in the um, the aperture here and you cock it back very simple design grease gunish uh, yeah allen screws all over the place and the receiver here oh sorry the uh, trigger housing and so on is cast alloy with a crinkle finish paint on it and so is the front grip it's cast alloy it's a very long 4.5 caliber rifle barrel there uh, yeah so uh, nice okay what else have I got I've got my two AK-47 airsoft so I'll get down now okay getting the right collection here on the bed of stuff for sale okay here is the AK in slightly better light this is the one as I said it used to be owned by the guy who runs RSOV in, in uh, Hong Kong still got some BBs in this it is an airsoft it has to be sold according to UK laws it has to be sold to someone who either has a UCARA um, valid UCARA um, ID um, and is allowed to use this on an airsofting site or someone with uh, a valid exemption for being able to own one of these like a battle reenactor um, they have to contact me maybe someone who's an AFRA member um, if they contact me with their details they can uh, purchase this lovely little item off me uh, this has got a metal buttstock uh, wood furniture yeah wood front wood stock wood wood grip uh, steel mag and some form of metal for the uh, for the receiver um, steel top cover uh, barrel is also metal not so sure I think these are alloy the bits of furniture at the front is I think that's alloy yeah uh, yeah not a bad uh, gun I've actually never used it since I bought it from RSOV um, I've fired a few test shots from it but uh, I've never actually um, used it in a game uh, your battery on this oh no your battery goes in the stock on this particular model doesn't it of course not up in here but you could change this so you could put the battery up in here you could uh, move your wiring and so on if you wanted to and that would possibly save you uh, taking screws out the stock yeah nice item now this is the army AK it is predominantly plastic it will it's got a steel top cover but it's all plastic furniture and it's still you know it, it I've looked after this um, I've loaned it once I think to someone uh, in a game um, you know as a higher item but it's been looked after well I've made sure everyone returns the butt cover there's where the battery goes plastic stock as I say just put that cover back on there we go yeah back on in terms of a wall piece it looks quite nice if you wanted it just as a wall piece see it's uh, full spec um, in terms of it, its uh, its size um, the barrel is uh, alloy uh, barrel with alloy uh, metal furnishings on it uh, the sights and so on uh, steel magazine yeah that'll be steel mag as I say 
it's a, it's a functional airsoft AK-47. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to take some photos of these and put them up on Gunstar. If you uh, are interested in anything, want to make me uh, some serious offers, um, you know, uh, contact me uh, via YouTube, um, Google, um, whatever. Put a comment up and, uh, and ask me to get back in touch with you. Um, you might be able to also find these up on Gunstar. Now, I've not used Gunstar before. They have some uh, rules about uh, advertising on other sites and so on. So uh, I'm not sure whether they're going to allow me to put a link to this video uh, on on uh, YouTube from Guns from uh, Gunstar. Hopefully they will, because I, I don't see how I'm contravening anything. I'm not. Uh, I'm not making any other gains. Let me know what you think, okay? Bye.